All right, Mr. Crane, this message is for you. We are here at a home game in Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. Minute Maid Park, playing against the Oakland Athletics. And we were told by your security staff, multiple security, that we cannot yell, we cannot cheer, and we cannot heckle the visiting team. At no point in time did we use any slander, racial slurs, derogatory, terms, derogatory language, profanity, profanity or anything like suck. that. All we said was 16, you suck. And what happens? Your security staff tells us to keep it down. This is a family environment. But if you go to New York, if you go to St. Louis, you go to Dallas, Dallas, San Francisco, anywhere USA, Tampa, any of our competition, this is what they do to our team. And they're winning. We have won nothing. Zilch. Last zero. Not nada. Ever. Not ever. Zero. Right. Not ever. You are the new owner of this organization. If we can't heckle, if we can't defend our team, if we can't get out there and get in the heads of the visiting team when they come here, what's the point of a home field advantage? What's the point of we a home field and what he forgot to mention is the fact that we were told this in the top of the ninth inning when we were down three to two with one out. Three and to so two. it was a crucial point of the game where it's make it or break it time. So this video is to let, let me know. I run a group called HoopJargon.com. I'm a paid member of the press. I write articles on sports. That's what I do. So you telling me your product is a family environment where you can't come and cheer your team on in the top of the ninth inning? Down a point? Question. Down a run, rather? Question. How, I got a can your, with that. how can your security with a straight face say, this is a family environment when they sell beer? How can they say with a straight face, this is a family environment when anyone can come here and say what they want, but we can? Mm -hmm. We got shirts made for your team, for our team. We brought 12 for the city people team. here to your event. Ticket for a losing product because we care about our Astros that much. But we can't cheer. And we were told to keep it positive. When we're, when we're down three to two in the top of the ninth inning, that's, if, that's if, weak. That isn't, if that isn't that's weak, very weak, if that isn't um, a product that's geared towards Houston fans getting behind their team, being proud and want to win, I don't know what it is. So I cannot support your product if that's what you're about. We need change. We need change right now. Yes. If you want a winning program, you need to allow the fans to back the team. We're not disrespecting anybody. We're not calling them out of their names. We're not saying anything about their background, ethnicities, or anything of that nature. We're talking about the game, on the field. On the game. On the field. Allow that. If we can't do that, you have no fans. There's only 76 people here anyway. If you can't allow that, there will only be 62 people here. This will be our last game. There it is. I, I need to hear something. Tell me you care about my city. Been here 30 years. Tell me you care about my city. Fix this. A two-run shot off Samarja. Carter's 31st home run of the season. A's lead down to just 3-2. Josh. Two, Josh Donaldson now up. Base is loaded. A's up 4-2. Coming up in a big spot. We call those insurance runs. Game of inches down the line. Donaldson three for four. Three RBI. A's hold on to win. 8-2. Big win for Oakland. Hey, real quick, uh, I've had a chance to sleep on it, and I want to kind of have my post post event video. Um, right now it's approximately 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm heading to work, and I kind of wanted to reiterate how ridiculous last night played out. At the bottom of the eighth, we hit our home run. We're down one run now, two run home run. We've been down 3-0 the whole game. I look up and see fans heading for the exit going into the ninth inning. I've, in the years, 30 years of me being around baseball, I've never seen a sight like that until I stepped into the Houston Astros. This is about my fourth one of the year. 
and I see similar all of the time. Now, to me, the top the team product is getting better, no question. Love Spring, love LJ Hose, even though he's he's being reassigned at the moment. I love the team, Altuve, great team. But our fan culture, it is absolutely horrible. Our fan experience at the game, absolutely horrible. Over the past three years, I've probably gone to the upwards about 15 games. Mostly with corporate functions and things of that nature. But a lot of times as a fan as well. And our fan culture absolutely is horrible. So until we change our fundamental beliefs of what is good and bad fanship, that product will forever be a lame duck. It was a crying shame how dead last night was during the time of a rally. And the security guard, which I'm not here to blast him, not for him to lose his job, because he was told that by someone. I was told to be quiet, be positive, sit down. And when I asked him, how is that sports fan, professional sports etiquette, I was told I would be removed from the premises without using any vulgarity, any curse words, any anything. And fundamentally, I find an outright absolute problem with that. So, Mr. Jim Crane, everybody's been doing ice buck challenges. Everybody's been doing this, that, and the third. I want to challenge you to a good owner challenge. Fix this situation. I saw the schedule. We have about 15 home games remaining. And we have all these theme nights. Latin night, spiritual and family night, Onyx and V-Live night. You can have all those nights you want. Your fan culture will forever and always be, as Richard Sherman says, mediocre at best. That's all I have to say about that. You guys have a great Tuesday.